people would get injured. They'd take their kids and put them over on top of the seal. And uh, the hospitals were all constantly having to deal with somebody injured. And they were coming up with the idea that sooner or later, somebody was going to get killed out here by an elephant seal. And that's understandable. So what year, what year was that? What that was probably uh, from 96 to 97, maybe, okay. maybe a little bit earlier than that. Yeah. And uh, that was one of the reasons that they did some shifting with the Hearst Castle to get this property right here. So and, talk about that a little bit more specifically, how that happened. Uh, yeah, they knew that the problem was the road along here was being blocked by people uh, parking their car to look down on the seals. There were going, people going down on the seals. <coughs> and the, the, share, the state park people said they knew they did not have enough people to actually deal with all the people that were going down on the beach. So they, what they wanted was a volunteer program. And so they ch exchanged property with the Hearst Co uh, Corporation and got this specifically piece here for the parking lot for these two beaches. And that's when Friends of the Elephants is. So this is, so this is State Park, but, it's, but all the interception and talking to people is all done by Elephants. the volunteer organization. Yeah. And uh, you know, we're uh, a pretty active group. We usually have roughly 100 docents and everybody does one shift a week, and uh, there are two shifts every day. So uh, sometimes, it's a little early, usually those start here till 10, and 10 to one and one to four. So obviously there's a lot of free time here that people don't uh, have a dose of around. And uh, unfortunately, when that happens, sometimes we'll have people who are disturbing the seals, you know, Little boys love to throw rocks. Oh no. Yeah. So surprising. Yeah. So then is the monitoring, is it just heavily dependent on volunteer or solely dependent on volunteer? Solely. Okay. The only time we ever see any state park people here is when we see somebody, uh, you know, with a drone flying around or something like that or disturbing the animals. Then we will call state park. We don't, we're not police. We just are here to tell people about the Seals. Yeah. Uh, who put the fence up in the 1960s? Yeah, uh, the fence was already here okay. in the 60s. Oh. They didn't start coming here until the 1990s. Um, some of this fencing was put here by state parks not too long after the seal, and there used to be a gate right here because there was no fencing on the inside, and there was a ramp there that was used by uh, a lot of surfers and things. And the seals would come up the ramp, and so every night we'd have to close that gate, or they'd end up in this in the parking lot or out in the highway. And sometimes we'd get here in the morning, and there'd be a seal right behind the gate, and we couldn't open up the gate at all that whole day. So, anyway, uh, and how and approximately how many visitors have, have, do you guys get now here on the like typical big July, you know, big time? It's not so much in July. A lot of people know that uh, birthing and mating is in January and February. So that's when we have the, the parking lot will be full, wow. honestly full. And uh, you know we've talked to a couple million people, frankly. And that's not even the number, total number of people that are here. Sometimes, you know, we don't get to talk to everybody. This whole boardwalk can be covered with people. And so a lot of people just have questions, or we'll try to, you know, talk to them about it. And and given that PCH is closed right now, are you, are you guys seeing less? Oh yeah, much less. So like half as much. At least Point. half. At, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's not going to be open until uh, sometime summer, next right? summer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, though, uh, the bridge has been rebuilt, um, but that slide is a real nightmare, and it, it is really huge. And you know, you kind of wonder, well, that was a pretty bad slide. When's the next one going to occur? They'll fix it, and then the one right next to it, the whole, you know. So anyway. Uh, you'll see a bunch of huge trucks going by with a lot of rocks, and that is for that slot when they're going by. Yeah. What is, um, what cycle like, part are they in right now? What's the motion? No, they aren't moving. These seals are here. 